Okay, so right on schedule, Apple just released iOS 18.1 Beta 7, if you can believe it. We are almost done with this beta cycle, and quite honestly, this could very well be the final beta before the public release. We'll talk about that. This will be a short video. There's not much new. It is all under the hood improvements. Let's jump into it, take a look at the build number, and get right to the chase. So Beta 7 just finished installing on our iPhone 16 Pro Max. And like I said, not much is new. It is definitely much more under the hood performance improvements with a couple of slight tweaks here. One regarding the actual digital clock and if you like tinting your icons. Now if you long press edit and customize this and prefer a tinted view of your icons, now you can see that the actual widget itself tints with the actual icons. So while not a big change, it is one nonetheless. I don't use tinted, I'm not the biggest fan of that, so it is a change I won't be seeing regularly. Beyond that though, jumping right into settings and then we'll go to general and about, you can see right off the bat 18.1 beta 7 does indeed have an A build here again and it is 22B 5075A as that full build number. And like I always say, if you're new to Apple betas, you always wanna see an A or B build because this signifies it is the closest to a full release for Apple. The closer you get to the beginning of the alphabet, the sooner it is to a final polished build. So jumping all around like we were before, everything does work very smoothly. You can jump into anything you need very easily and it does work smoothly like you'd hope. Beyond that, I will say also that this phone, for once, did not get super warm during the update or right after. The battery drain, right for the first few hours of using this, hasn't been as drastic as it was in beta 6 and some other betas, so I'm hoping that will be a good sign and is a thing to come for what to expect for the full release. And speaking of which, jumping right into our calendar, obviously today is October 14th, I would fully expect a public beta to be released in the coming days with an RC coming on the 21st and a final release probably like we thought uh, on the last Monday of the month, the 28th. This will be the first with a full-fledged suite of Apple intelligence features. Hopefully, this will make some people happy and kind of lighten the burden that Apple's going to experience since they're advertising all these AI features and nothing is available since the iPhone 16 has been released. I will say we have had some intermittent issues trying to launch Siri where it wouldn't fully download. I haven't checked that yet. Let's see if that's fixed here. And you can see it's canceling out and it's always wanting to fully re-download Siri, but it won't do it if you go into settings and then under Apple Intelligence and Siri, uh, it just purely shows like everything's fine. You can see it says Apple Intelligence is downloading, but it never seems to complete. So. That's interesting. Comment down below if you're experiencing the same issue with that and what you did to resolve it because ever since about four or five days ago on beta six, this happened out of the blue. So that's really all there is to this build. Again, I wanted to keep it very short and sweet with you guys. If you're looking forward to receiving this and the first set of Apple intelligence features, let us know what your favorite one is down below in those comments and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.